Jamaica is an island in the Caribbean with a population of just under 3 million. Despite its small numbers, Jamaica's cultural influence has reached far beyond the island's shores. Known mostly for its music, Jamaica is also home to exciting food. Jamaica was colonised by Spain, then Britain, in part for its rich natural resources, and sugar, coffee and banana plantations were manned by a brutal slave trade. Drawing from its tumultuous history, Jamaican food has a wide range of contributors from Africa, Europe and Asia. One of the most popular snacks in Jamaica is jerk chicken. Heavily spiced and smoked chicken cooked in makeshift barbecue drums, often on the side of the road. Every dish has a creation story, and I want to find out more about this smoky delight. But first, I'm going to try a few other local legends. The national dish in Jamaica is aki and saltfish, a savoury fruit matched with fish the strength of anchovies, which strangely enough the locals eat for breakfast. It's got the texture of scrambled eggs, which is interesting because it's a fruit. And it's really strong for breakfast. I'm thinking it might be an acquired taste. It's hard to go far in Jamaica without noticing the impact of Rastafarianism, the religion immortalised by Bob Marley in the 70s. Among other religious practices, Rastafarianism focuses on clean, healthy food. Ital food, derived from the word vital, concentrates on a diet free from processed ingredients, meat, dairy and even salt. Healthy Ways is a roadside store run by a collective of Rastafarian friends. And judging from the number of people outside, it must be good. The guys have cooked up a feast and have put me on serving duty. Oh, that looks so colourful and just bursting with goodness. Oh, not a moment to rest. Ooh. O'Neill Parkinson is head chef of the operation. And tell me all about what you've cooked, because it looks amazing. Yeah, this is the Uh huh. made up of coconut milk, broad bean, black oil peas, ah. Jamaican seasoning, mm. all the Jamaican vegetable you can think of. Mm. Did you have a recipe? Yeah. Where's the recipe? All is our bread, yeah. <laughs> like good food, it's in your brain. So what are the principles of Rastafarian food? It's natural, vegetable. And is it true that you don't use any salt? No. I can't believe it, it's really tasty. And I think most people, if you told them that there was going to be no salt and no pepper, they might go, oh, I wonder what it's going to taste like. It's really flavourful. Thank you. So if I eat the whole plate, do I start to look and feel younger? Sure. You, you can go one time. You can go one time. Yeah, you can go one time. Well, okay, enough talking, I'm eating. I'm getting younger. <laughs>